What's up guys, it's that racing game guy here. Today, I'm back in Need for Speed, driving around the Bet Customs F-132 again. Um, just kind of having some fun here in this little, uh, well, I guess whatever you call this, construction yard area. But, I know, oh god. I know last time, come on, I shifted into reverse. Last time, I kind of went over this car, and it was more focused on the manual transmission. Today, I want to focus on the car a little bit more, because this is a really beastly car. Ooh. This thing beats most stuff in this game, honestly. And even though there's really not any modification available for it, you don't need it. You really don't need it. So today, I'm just going to go... I guess I'm going to play another one of Eddie's challenges. I'm almost done with them. I know I'm like really behind. But I'm really behind on the Eddie's challenges. But I haven't played this game in a long time. But now that this update has come out, it's, like I said last time, it's made me fall in love with this game quite a bit more. It's kind of it's kind of made me fall in love with it over again. Um, you know, it's it's really really enjoyable. Ooh, starting me off in the tunnel with that crazy loud 10 grand RPM red line, and this thing really does sound amazing. This car is a monster. And it handles extremely well. Wow, I... That was close. The only thing I've noticed so far with the manual transmission... Yeah. Is... It's kind of hard to use nitrous and it at the same time. You can't really continuously use nitrous. You have to let off to shift. At least if you keep the the preset um, layout. If you switch it up, then I guess it's possible to use nitrous and shift at the same time. But the default one is most comfortable for me personally. Everything. Oh dear. Come on. Come on. Stop drifting. The one time I don't want to drift. Jeez, that was kind of dirty. But it worked. <laughs> it was dirty, but it worked. Mania transmission is a lot of fun to race with, and I honestly feel a lot quicker with it. There we go. That was actually a lot quicker than I was expecting. But Mania transmission is a lot better once you get good at it. If you're used to the Forza layout, it's a little bit hard to get used to, and I'm not still fully used to it as you guys may be able to tell from watching me Let's see what Eddie has to say Man, I gotta admit I've seen some nice racing you got the skill and the brains so just check the app for the next one later okay so um I figured that's what he was gonna say oh god jerk but anyway if you're used to the Forza kind of shifting it takes a little bit of getting used to and like I said I'm what the heck? Uh, okay then. Alright. It's a little bit difficult to get used to, and I'm not fully used to it, but I'm getting there. But it gives, you know, of course being manual, it gives you 
a lot more control over the car and everything. It helps you go a lot faster. Especially in this kind of race. Like, maybe for drag racing, which I think, oh god, which I think they did add into the game. Uh, drag racing, you know, I may or may not want an automatic transmission. Especially if I'm wanting to just boost with nitrous the whole way down. But for this kind of thing where it's circuit racing, you really want a manual transmission, especially drifting. Because one big thing with drifting was it would just kind of spin the wheels and get up to the red line and it wouldn't really, it would want to shift. It wouldn't want to stay in that gear and just drift. It would spin the wheels, get up to the red line, and then... Um, get up to red line and then it would want to shift and as soon as it would shift then you wouldn't you know you wouldn't have enough gear ratio to start uh, or sorry keep going in the drift you wouldn't have enough gear ratio to keep going in the drift and that kind of complicates things when you know you can't keep going in a drift because then it comes out of the drift and then you lose points and all that stuff so basically they did us a huge service by adding the manual transmission a, a really huge service but let's take the Corvette out for a spin real quick the Corvette is a bit more driftable I need to start saving up some money now I may buy back a Miata Maybe switch it up some, change, like make it, build it differently. But right now, I just kind of want to get back to the murder vet. Jeez. I'm not used to such a short red line. I got used to that 10 grand. I got, oh god. I got used to that 10 grand red line in the F-132. Come on, drift. Drift for me. Should have been in second gear. Though. See, drifting is a lot more fluent now. It's a lot better. Oh god. And if I need to shift, I can. That's the thing. It, it would shift when you didn't need it to, and then it wouldn't shift when you needed it to. It just wasn't a very intelligent automatic transmission. Which, you know, is understand. Oh god. Ouch. God. That was crazy. But, it is, especially for drifting, it's it's really good that we can control our own transmissions now. I don't know if there's ever, I haven't played Need for Speed a lot, and I know, I know there's a lot of, like, different ones out there, they go way, way back, but, I don't know if they've ever had a manual transmission in a game or not, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments down below, but, I'm not sure. All the any of the ones I've oh, I'm really glad that wasn't. Me. Any of the ones I've played haven't had manual transmission, so it's kind of a new thing. But they did it very, very well. Honestly, they they did it quite well. Oh God, I missed the wall by a hair again. Let's see, let's, let's do like 60 roll. Or maybe like 50 roll. Come on, alright. Highway. Let's see, let me get to this straight stretch right here. 50 roll, go! One eighty, one 
90. Come on. Ah. Couldn't give me 200. Ouch. The handling is a little bit awkward in Need for Speed. Especially with it being rainy all the time. Wow, this is the most daylight I've ever seen in Need for Speed. This game doesn't usually have daylight. Which, I kind of don't like that it doesn't have daylight. I, I wish it had daylight. But this is the most daylight I think I've seen. But it's, it's like, it's constantly dark and rainy in this game. And I bet if I were actually in this game, the climate would be rather cold. So, traction. Oh, well, gee, thank you for that, jerk. But traction is kind of an issue. Oh, look at that. See, I wouldn't have been able to pull that off with an automatic transmission. It would be wanting to shift and everything on me, and it just wouldn't work. So, that's kind of the differences with drifting between the manual and the automatic. Manual is a must-have for drifting. I mean, it, it was possible with the automatic transmission. It just wasn't ideal. It was, it was more difficult, and it wasn't ideal. That's the thing. It, it, it could be done, but it wasn't... It wasn't perfect. It wasn't exactly what we needed. Manual transmission, controlling your own car and everything about it, that's exactly what we needed. So, props to EA for that. But, yeah, they... This update is a huge improvement on the game, and, you know, hopefully... I feel like there still could be room for some improvement and some updates in this game, so hopefully we'll see those in the future. Uh, I think Need for Speed for PC should be out or be out soon. Not really sure which. I don't keep up with PC gaming quite as much. But, yeah, so that's kind of the sun is out. I've never seen the sun out in this game. And that is the honest truth. I have never ever seen the, oh geez, now the cops are after me. Figures we get nice sunny weather and then I get in a police chase. Ah, they're probably gonna find me. Yep. Gotta get away from them real quick. And back into the rainy climate. Oh well. It was it was good while I'm glad that pole didn't wreck me out. It was good while it lasted. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching.